What's up everyone, John Chavo here in beautiful California. We're gonna go over all the equipment I'm using right now in the roller season from stick to everything in my bag. Let's go through it. All right, we'll start with everyone's favorite, the twig first. This is the new Catalyst True 9X. Not even released yet, it'll be released in the next couple of weeks here. I use an 80 flex custom curve with a very, very flat lie. It's my new favorite, latest and greatest. I use it extra tacky, uh, box style texture on it. It's one of my favorite things right now. Feels really good. Mid kick flex point. We just started using it at this tournament. So super excited about this new Catalyst line. All right, so we'll get in the bag now. Always gotta have that name tag when you're traveling. So if your bag ever gets lost, they can find you. Start with a little protective. I always wear my elbow pads. I wear pretty thick ones. Always like protecting the elbows. I also wear protective wrist guards. So right under the elbow pad, I wear that wrist guard right there. So a little bit of extra protection when you're getting slashed, when you're going to the net. Um, I always like to have all that area covered up. In roller hockey, you don't wear shoulder pads. So having a little bit of extra protections on your arm and your wrist is always good. That's the way I like it. Then also, got our knee pads here. I wear them one inch shorter than I wear my ice hockey ones. I like to have a little bit more mobility on roller, but uh, one inch smaller and a really, really protective pair. As well as that, I wear a girdle. Add that in there so it goes knee pads, girdle, elbow pads, and the wrist guard. So that's basically all I'm wearing for under my equipment, under my pants and jersey. That's all the gear I'll be wearing for protection right there. All right, now we'll move on to the outer protection. So I'll talk about my gloves now. I just got these new Catalyst gloves, fully custom. They are super awesome. I wear a 14 inch glove, so a lot of room in the cuff area. Made by True, got my number on it here, my name. And again, brand new, super nice palms, really nice fitting glove, super excited about these. So I have the white with black, and I also have the blacked out one. So I'm switching back and forth with the Black Ice crew. Um, I love both colors, they're super, super nice. So really excited about all the protection in them too. Also what I always have on me, you gotta have the Lucky Goodwood hat. So got the Lucky Goodwood hat, the Superman logo, give it a little extra power, but this goes everywhere with me in my bag. This is my game hat, I call it. I wear it in the locker room, everything like that. So this is my Huntsville Havoc colors. I usually have a white one or a red one. So gotta go with the Geo Stick snapback for sure. Game day hat. All right, this is one of my favorite parts, the skates. My custom true boot, the inline boot, so it has the vents, ventilation, really dries the inside of the skate. I always wear my tongues out, so I wear that white felt tongue flop down. My knee pads sit perfectly on top of it. So again, custom true boot made for roller hockey. Then we have the Mars Blade R1, the latest and greatest in roller hockey with my variant revision wheels and Swiss bearings. So that's my full skate setup. Want to get a closer look, fully custom boot, R1 frame, my revision wheels. All right, so the, for this tournament with, with Unify Black Ice, we got the new Unify pants here. We're wearing these this tournament um, and the rest of the summer. We got our black set here as well as our white set. Really nice pants made by Unify. These ones are a little bit more snug. They have the really tight fitting bottom, so you don't have to tape the bottom, which is nice. And then I usually do uh, one layer around here on my knee pads, make it a little extra tight, but great job by Unify. I love the new design here that we're wearing this year for Unify Black Ice. Then as well with the pants, we got the new jerseys here. Really, really nice. This is the white set. Obviously rocking the 44 on the back. And then we also have our darker set right here. Great view of this in beautiful California. And as well, um, KJ Tiffenworth's grandmother Rosie passed away. So we have a little design there for her, um, for his grandmother passed away. So really, really awesome design by Steven with Unify for these new Black Ice Pro jerseys. All right, so a couple other things I keep in my bag, little secrets. Uh, a bunch of us from Long Island when we were younger always did this. So always having a paintbrush. 
in your bag. A lot of you might not have seen this, but after every game, if your wheels are dusty, usually just give them a quick blowout, but then you could go after, get all the crevices in the wheels and everything, get out all the dust from all these rinks, indoor, outdoor. It's a great little trick, really cleans up the bearings, and you'll be set with no dust when you're putting them back in your bag and getting ready for your next game. So paintbrush as well, always keeping a fresh set of extra wheels in the bag. You never know, someone on your team might break a wheel. You might need to change a wheel late in a tournament, so always keeping a fresh set of wheels. I got my Revision Mars Blade variant wheels here. Always have one set of soft with me everywhere. You always gotta have your Mars Blade tool, so to change the bearings, to change the wheels, pop everything out, tighten everything. Always gotta have this with you as well. And then along with that, got our true shave kit. So I have a bunch of goodies in here. Uh, I keep my mouthpiece in here, keep my Howie's tape. I got thick black, that's what I use on my blade. I got white thin to use on the top. And then you gotta go with the clear around the shin guards. I also use one strip around the top of my tape, around the top of my stick to finish off the tape job there as well. So on the shin guards and one strip on the tape, on the top of my stick. So we got all three types of Howie's tape here. These are always in the bag. And the other side of the kit, always got to share with the teammates. Got a little bit of gum, got some visor cleaner. Always keep an ice hockey puck just in case I want a stick handle. Got an extra Mars blade tool as well as some scissors, some Sharpies, and we're all dialed in. So that's all that I'm really keeping with me in my shave kit. All the tournaments, we're always traveling, right? You always want to have extra tape, everything like that some extra scissors for the rest of the guys, but I'm always traveling with this. Everywhere I go, ice hockey season, roller hockey season, it's always in my bag. All right, last but not least, we got the helmet. I'm rocking the true helmet right now. Black ice stickers, number on the back. I'm wearing a thin visor. I always like wearing a visor. Um, never really played with one off ever since I started wearing one. So I always like protecting the eyes as best I can. So with this true helmet, I'm wearing a small, Got that tight fitting visor on there. So yeah, wearing this true helmet is definitely nice. Small size for me, nice little visor, protect the eyes. Um, this is what I'm rocking this summer, so really cool. So really hope you enjoyed finding what's in my bag, what type of stick I'm using. I would love to see what you guys are all using in your bag, what you keep when you're traveling, um, and anything different that you use. If you found anything that you really like, like the paintbrush, love to hear uh, how you take care of your gear as well. Always nice to learn and see things new that you don't know. Thanks for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Tag me in any equipment tips that you have, maybe something different that I should start doing, but I really, really like all of this stuff I just showed you. Hope you get to try it out someday. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow for more videos like this. See you next time.